In this video, we are going to work through the following problem. It says a dog kennel boards dogs at a cost of 50 cents per pound per day. Write a TK enter application that will use, allows the user to enter a dog's weight and number of days to be boarded and then displays the total price for boarding. Okay, so I'm going to start off with import TK enter as TK. And I'm going to use the object oriented approach here. So I'm going to create a class that is a child class of the TK class. Okay, and then inside that class, I'm going to make the init method. And as the first line, I'm going to make a call to the init of the parent class. So the parent class can get set up. I'm going to um, give this thing a title. And the geometry. Okay, and then I am going to set this up so that um, we have uh, three labels, I guess four labels, one for days, one for weight, one for price, and then a another, the fourth label is for the result uh, of the price. That's where I'm going to put the result of the calculation. Then um, uh, two entries, one for days, one for weight, and then the other uh, button. So let's go ahead, start working on those. Days label, so that's gonna be a label. Um, text, self text equals days. A label for the weight. And then um, two entries, so um, days entry. Weight entry. Then um, a a button. Right, that's the last thing. TK dot button. On that button, I'll put go. All right, so I think that's all of the widgets that we need. We need to place them into here next. I'm going to use the grid. Um, uh, method to do that. So um, row zero, column zero on the days label. Go up in the upper left hand corner. Uh, the weight label below it. So that would be in row one, still the same column. And then uh, the price label below that. So that would be row two and then column zero on that. All right, then over in the next column, we want the days entry. So that would be row zero. Next column over would be column one. So row zero, column one. Uh, the weight entry would be below that. So row one, column one. 
and then the price uh, oh, I forgot that label so I should have created that so I'm going to call that uh, price result label I guess that one we're just gonna leave blank that's gonna go below this so price result label dot grid uh, so it's gonna be row two column one and then I guess I'll place the button uh, just to this uh, over to the side I guess um, so button dot grid uh, row one column two let's try that all right so that should have everything laid out uh, all the widgets that we need in there and so um, what we need to do is to create an instance an object right of this based on this class and then call the main loop method all right so let's see how that turns out all right so that looks okay we've got our days entry weight entry the price label is going to go here buttons over here so all that looks good to me okay so when now next up we need to Make it so that when the user clicks the button, right, that it takes the information out of the days and the wait app, and then it um, displays the results, right, in the price label over here, or price results label. Okay. All right, so uh, we need to go in here for our button and create a command um, argument, so self.calculate. Now we need to put the dot self dot prepend it with that because uh, this method right we're going to make it another method in this class and so that's how you refer to other methods that are within the class okay uh, so that hooks that up then what we need to do next right is we need to get the value for days out of this entry and the value for weight out of this entry. So to do that, right, I'm gonna make a variable down here, days string equals, and then I need to be able to refer to this entry, right, the days entry, and I can't do that. If I try days entry like this, dot get, then I'm gonna get an error uh, when I try to do that, right, you can see days entry is not defined when I click the go button. So even though it's right here, right, it's in a different method. And so uh, what I need to do is to anything that I want to refer to down here, right, I need to prepend it with self here. So self here. This is something else that I'm going to be able, I need to get the value from the weight entry. And then also this price result label, I need to put some text into there from this method. So I need to make those um, um, visible, right? Uh, I need to make them attributes by putting self dot in here. And so therefore they'll be visible to the other methods in here. And so I also need to do that down here when I am packing them in here. Okay, so next up, I need to get the weight out from that entry, and it comes out. So I need to do self dot here as well. Self dot weight entry dot get. All right. Next up, then I need to calculate the price, and once I have that right, oh, I need to do the conversion. Sorry days I need to convert days string to just days that would be float days string and convert it to a float and weight 
same thing floats weight underscore string so that does the conversion to uh, numeric type then I can calculate the price that is 50 cents times uh, the weight times the days okay and then finally what I want to do is to display that result in this self dot price result label and to do that I need to do configure and then text equals and then the text that I want to display there so I want to have a dollar sign and then the price so I need to F here and then I want to format that with a comma and a point to F so use the comma as the thousand separator rounded two decimal places okay so let's see how that goes So let's go with uh, five days and 20 pounds. So 20 times five would be 100, and then half of that, because of 50 cents, would be 50 bucks. So that looks like it's coming out correctly, okay? All right, so now one problem is that if I put some text in here and click go, it's gonna crash you can see what I get right here. It says, could not convert string to float SDF. So that's line 29 right here when I do that conversion from the string version of day to uh, a numeric type because what I entered wasn't a, nu a numeric type. So that's an issue and I need to fix that. Uh, the way to fix that, right, would be to put that into a try block. And then you can see that is generating a value error. So what I would do is do accept value error here. And then I would put the code that hap that I need uh, to execute when uh, one of a uh, value error is thrown in this block. And so that would be what I'm gonna do is just display a message to the user result label. Dot configure and then text equals and I'm just gonna say invalid input here and I also need to return right out of here otherwise you'll get some more issues so before I fix that just to show you right if I do some bad input here and click go you can see I'm gonna get unbound local error, local variable weight referenced before assignment, right? Because what happened was that the um, exception was th thrown here, so it jumped here and printed invalid input in the label, and then it kept going and tried to calculate price equals 0.5 times weight times days, and because weight hadn't been um, calculated, then it, or hadn't been initialized and declared, it um, created another problem and it crashed again. Uh, so the way to do that is just to return out of here, which basically means, right, that the method is over and it won't continue to execute these, which we don't want to, right, if it's invalid input, so. All right, and you can see that should fix the issue. So if I do some text here, text here, and click go, right? I just get invalid input. I don't get that crash anymore. And then if I go back and do uh, five days for 20 pounds, uh, then it works correctly, 50 bucks, okay? And that is it on that one.